Strange World. So Strange World is Disney's latest and is currently their 61st animated film. And of course over the years we've had numerous Disney films that have had a different style and have, you know, different genres. But one of the fewest ones is the science fiction genre, which I think is due to how technology has evolved these days and how fandom has too. And when you look back at others, you'll see what I mean. For example, the 2014 film Big Hero 6, that was a massive success. It won Best Animated Feature at the Oscars and it's still one of the best Disney films, in my opinion, to date. So while Strange World obviously doesn't involve certain science fiction elements that are in that film. I was hoping that Strange World would be a good addition to that list of good science fiction Disney animated films. So Strange World tells the story of the Clades, who are a legendary family of explorers whose differences threaten to topple their latest and most crucial mission into uncharted and treacherous territory. Now we know that the film is called Strange World, so obviously we were going to expect to see a strange world. That was going to be obvious, right? But... The question is, how strange could it have been compared to every other world that we've had in a Disney animated film in the past? And when you look at it, you can tell it took some inspiration from a lot of films, such as Journey to the Centre of the Earth, and also it had a sense of Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs about it, because when you've got a film that is just titled Strange World, it opens up so many prospects, and you could just imagine whatever you wanted to. So in that sense, it does tick the imaginative box of creating a world that's very, very unique and very bizarre in many ways. And you could argue that the strange world that they go into looks like a mythical version of our prehistoric world, hence why a lot of the characters look like dinosaurs. So I think there's a little sense of kind of feeling familiar with our world that we had prior to our existence. But for me, it didn't quite tick the creative one. Just because it looks different doesn't mean it's good. Because I think when you create a fictional world, it needs to have not just imagination, but themes that are relevant and conventional to the real world that we, the audience, can understand and relate to. It needs a purpose. And for me, watching that, I still wasn't entirely sure what that even was. It lacked a unique selling point. And I don't like saying this because I usually love Disney animated films, but I feel in recent years, they're starting to go down like a downward slope where they're into like the mid 2000s era because there were films around that particular time that were released but not to a massive scale and weren't really you know massively successful at the box office nor among the critics and not overly popular among just the fans in general and I think in the 2010s Disney did go on a second renaissance era such as through films like Wreck-It Ralph and Tangled, Princess and the Frog, Big Hero 6, Zootopia, Moana, films like that. But I feel at the moment they're just kind of fading away a little bit and they're just kind of lacking that creativity through the storytelling. The production values of this film were again absolutely amazing and you wouldn't expect anything less from that. It was an adventure in that respect, but from a storytelling point of view, it just wasn't there. And not even certain sequences that gave us context around the characters and the story allowed us to go along with it, such as those animation sequences that was like a combination of paintings, comic books, and concept art. And the film did have a lot of potential, like I said at the beginning, because it's just, you know, a film about a strange world and it could unlock so many different things, but I think it just fell short and it just didn't really have a particular focus. And not even the soundtrack allowed us to engage with the story either, because when you listen to it, it really gave us that kind of adventure. It was almost Spielberg-esque, but even that didn't really help that much either. And in terms of the characters, it's definitely good in terms of representation and diversity, and it should be applauded for that. And in the leading role, we had Jake Yeelanhall as Searcher Clade. That's at least the pronunciation that I go with based on videos that I've seen on the internet. And I felt with Searcher that I just didn't feel he was the most inspiring, heroic, and noblest hero that I think you'd normally see. Now, I'm not saying that every Disney hero needs to be, you know, in the case of a man, a knight in shining armor with muscles and all this stuff, but just someone who's courageous, someone who we feel we could follow the journey of. And in this case, I just didn't feel like there was any kind of journey at all. It's ironic, actually, because... I felt like he was searching for it as well. We were searching with him. And alongside Yeelan Hall, we also had Dennis Quaid as Jaeger Clade, which weirdly rhymes. And I feel Quaid's voice is something that was very nicely matched with the physical appearance and the personality of the character. But if you ask my opinion, I think the character lacked context. And while there were certain moments, you weren't really kind of engaged with him in terms of his relationship with his son and his family and just what he does for a living. Another important character is Ethan, who is literally the figure of 
diversity and representation in this film, being the first gay character in a Disney animated film. And the fact that this is the case, it's absolutely amazing and it should be applauded. But I just felt he was quite a dull character. You really didn't kind of follow along with his journey. You found him quite irritating at the best of times and you just kind of felt like, you know what? Why are you there? What are you contributing to exactly? You're almost jeopardizing the mission. And I just found him quite irritating. And there isn't even a villain in this film because even though you can have films without a villain in them, it's got to kind of be filled to kind of give us that sense of mission and you know, jeopardy on part of the protagonists. And the closest thing to it was something else. So I think that wasn't really clear either. So overall, Strange World definitely does live up to its name in terms of it being something very unusual and very bizarre, while also being very strange in terms of it not really connecting with the audience, which is very unlike any Disney animated film that we get. And it's definitely diverse with a mixture of different things and the production values are absolutely brilliant, but I think just the narrative story just wasn't quite there and it just didn't fulfill the potential that it could have done. It didn't quite work and it almost confused itself with what it was trying to show. So what did you think of Strange World? Were you disappointed by it or did you enjoy it a whole lot more than I did and was rather surprised? Let me know in the comments below and as always, if you did want to enjoy this video then please hit the like button and subscribe for more and have a notification bell ticked so you're notified when I upload a new video and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care everybody.